Hi guys, this is Abhi from Gokche DB. In this video, you're going to learn how to restrict S3 bucket access to a CloudFront distribution in AWS. Let's start by navigating to the S3 service. Here, I'll be using two buckets, bucket one and bucket two. In bucket one, I have a JPG file and a text file. And in bucket two, I have a PNG file and a text file. Let's navigate to the CloudFront service, then hit Create Distribution. For origin domain, I'm going to select my bucket one, then click on Origin Access Control Settings. Hit the Create Control Setting button, then choose Sign Requests, then hit Create. I'm going to leave most of the other settings to default, then hit the Create Distribution button. Next, click on Copy Policy, then navigate back to the Permissions tab of the Bucket 1. Scroll down to the Bucket Policy section, then hit Edit and Paste. Click on Save Changes, then go back to the CloudFront window. Copy the distribution domain name, and paste it in a browser. Add the name of the JPG file at the end of the URL, then hit Enter. Give it a few minutes, then hit Refresh, and you should see your image. You should also be able to access your text file in bucket one. Let's go back to the CloudFront window and navigate to the Origins tab. Hit Create, and this time, choose bucket two for the origin domain. Select origin access control settings, then create a control setting for bucket two. I'm going to leave everything else to default, then hit create origin. Just like before, click on copy policy and add it to the bucket policy of bucket two. Next, click on behaviors tab, then hit create behavior. For path pattern, I'm going to select star.png and for origin, I'm going to select bucket2. Let's leave everything else to default, then click on create behavior. Any request for PNG files should now be routed to bucket2. Let's test this behavior by requesting horse.png file. Looks like our configuration is working as expected. Now watch what happens when I try to request test2.txt file. I get an access denied error. This is because all requests for txt files are being routed to bucket one. If I try to request test.txt file instead, which does exist in bucket one, the request should go through. There you have it. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.